Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rebecca, AKA Vegan Bodega Cat. As you can see, we're in my car. It's going to be raining today, um, but I still wanted to shoot this video, so I thought, why not order the food on Seamless and then go drive over and pick it up and do the review in my car. Um, I feel like this format could work on poor weather days or just like really cold days. This way their food reviews continue on even during the cold winter months. Also shooting in my car makes it easier to be socially distant and audio will be beautiful. Like, you know, you can hear me crystal clear. Today's restaurant is Lekka Burger. I've been wanting to shoot here for a hot minute. I've even gotten a bunch of requests to shoot here. It just never really fell into place until today. Lekka Burger is a vegan burger spot owned by the same chef as Dirt Candy. Dirt Candy is like another place that I've been wanting to shoot at for a hot minute. So <laughs> maybe that one will get done this year too. But as the name suggests, they do burgers, some sides, fries, salads, and even some alcoholic drinks. Obviously, I won't be getting alcoholic drinks. Number one, because I'm driving, and number two, you guys saw what happened at Bar Verde. Let's not have a 2.0. I edited like 45 minutes of drunk footage from that video. Um, that was the first time that's ever happened. All right, let's pull up um, Like a Burger on Seamless. 20 to 30 minutes, perfect, because it'll take me 20 to 30 minutes to drive over there. Um, they're in Manhattan, by the way. I'm in Brooklyn, so I have to drive over the bridge and everything. Okay, so we can get. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many burgers to choose from, but I feel like in order to give them a solid review, I should go more classic. Let's see. There's a Lekka burger, like a cheeseburger, peri peri burger, masala burger, guacamole burger. Oh, the guacamole burger looks so good. Look at that. I think I'm going to go cheeseburger though. I feel like it's a little bit fancier than a regular burger, but it's still plain enough to know if the actual burger is any good. I also think they make their own like house-made burger, so that's exciting. Like a cheeseburger, let's open that up. It is a burger, obviously, with cheese sauce, ketchup, mustard, mayo, lettuce, tomato, onion, and house pickles. That sounds exactly how I like my burgers. We have the photo right there. It looks juicy, looks delicious. So we're going to add to bag. That is $11.95. Not the cheapest burger, um, but I think they're like a nicer burger spot. You know what I mean? All right, so we have fries. We have four options of fries. We have regular fries, curly fries, cheese fries, or za'atar sumac fries. I know I said I was gonna be basic, but za'atar sumac fries? Okay, oh, it says, what? I thought it said curly fries. It said curry fries. Oh, I don't know. Should I choose curry fries or za'atar sumac fries? Ah, uh, okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna go on live and have my, my, my people pick between that. Um, okay, so maybe we should also get a salad. Honestly, squash salad sounds the best. Roasted butternut, acorn squash, arugula, pomegranate seeds, toasted pumpkin seeds, maple Dijon dressing. I'm not always a fan of squash, but in a salad, if you like balance it out with enough like other things, then it's usually delicious. And this looks good, so we're gonna get that. And that is $7.95. Again, a little expensive, a little expensive. It depends how big the salad is. If it's like a side salad, that's a lot. But if it's like a kind of filling salad, that's fine. Hi, everybody on YouTube, I'm on live. Hi, everybody on live, I'm on YouTube. Okay, we can either get curry fries or za'atar sumac fries. We're not getting both. We're being reasonable with our money. Stop, don't vote yet, don't vote yet, don't vote yet, I didn't start counting, okay. All right, I'm just making sure my hands are in. Stop voting! Stop voting! Stop voting! Ah, stop voting! I was. Stop, stop, stop voting! I'm gonna wait till everyone stops voting. Stop! This is Zatar Sumac Fries and this is Curry Fry. Go! Curry! Zatar! All right, four to four. Curry! 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 Okay, we're getting curry fries. All right. You know what? Seamless isn't so expensive when you do the picking up. You know, usually it's the delivery fee that really gets you. So I'm getting one Lekka cheeseburger, one squash salad, one curry fry. The total for that is $25.35. Uh, 225 sales tax brings our total to 2760 and then I'll probably tip cash when I get there uh, So continue to check out we will be taking the free bridge Brooklyn Bridge Start for a second. I thought my check engine light came on, but then it didn't all right Apparently she put us on the Williamsburg instead of the Brooklyn, which is also fine. Just as long as it's left Just as long as it's a free bridge. It's okay by me. I swear this is the fourth red light in a row that I have caught. Like what is going on? So far we're estimated to get there about two minutes past the maximum 
end of the delivery. I will not get stuck in another red. Mm -mm. Maximum delivery time. Uh, hope Go I'm past this light. Then at the next one, turn left onto Lafayette Street. Hoping my burger won't get cold. This place is like all the way on the opposite side of Manhattan, not even the close side. This is a Holland Tunnel. We're almost in New Jersey. All right, I checked Seamless and my burger was finished uh, two minutes ago and I'm gonna get there in two minutes. So it would have only been sitting for like four minutes, which is fine. All right, I got my mask on for the pickup. When, when I tell you I am ready to eat, I am ready to eat. I'm so hungry. I had an apple and peanut butter for breakfast because I wanted to keep it light because I was shooting this video, but bruh, I'm hungry. I am parked at a, at a fire hydrant, so um, we better get in and out before I get a ticket in and out, baby, in and out. Look, we found it, like a burger, like a burger. Okay, let's do this. Oh, here's the menu. There you go. Okay, let's go. So that's what that means. Have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. <laughs> We've secured the goods. Can I just say that the place is adorable. The lady was so nice. The vibe's immaculate. The smell in my car, I'm pretty sure, is that squash salad I was unsure of and now I'm very excited to eat. Um, but I'm parking in a truck loading and unloading zone. Okay, so I have to move my car before we eat. I'll get back to you in a few minutes. Update, everything seems to be truck loading and unloading. And I can't find a spot to put my car so I can eat this delicious food. I found a parking spot. It's like in the middle of a busy street and everything. I'm sure people are gonna look at me so weird for eating um, in my car on camera. But I don't give a shit because I am so hungry. Bruh, I am so hungry. Should I pay for, oh, I already got one weird stare. Should I pay for parking? I already know it's gonna be like $10 an hour. I'm not gonna do it. First, we're gonna shovel some fries into my mouth because last said so also someone just blocked me so hopefully he's just running in to get something or something otherwise I'm gonna be stuck in this spot um, so got the curry fries as we previously um, decided on they come crinkly which amazing because then you get like maximal um, surface area for for seasonings good Do you hear that crispiness Curry flavor is very light. Not heavy curry flavor. But I can't remember last time I had a fry this crispy. It is so delightful, you don't even need ketchup. Nine out of 10, can't stop eating. The texture is perfect. It would get a 10 out of 10 if the curry flavor was more prominent. I love me some curry. All right, now the burger. Number one, I unwrapped it so I can take, take a picture so it's kind of like unwrapped, but like look how cute that is. It looks messy, juicy and messy. Also, it looks like the bun is a beet burger, which usually like not my jam, but it doesn't say on the website that it's a beet burger, so I didn't know that when I ordered it. If the fries are any indication and the smell of the salad, I'm sure their beet burger is great, but you know, you know, past experiences with beet burgers. How many times can I say beet burgers in 30 seconds? Um, see, look, you see, it looks very, can't really tell. It looks very beet, maybe if I hold it here, beet burger-esque, I don't know. But look how juicy this is. This looks amazing, this looks uh, amazing. Whew, okay, um, yeah, we talked about this earlier. It has lettuce, tomato, cheese sauce, onions, pickles. Again, everything you'd want in a burger. Uh-oh. Mmm. Now I know why you guys kept recommending this place. This burger is delicious, and it's like a veggie burger, you know? Like, I see pieces of vegetable in there. But it's still so flavorful. I'm usually of like a, I'm usually like a faux meat burger kind of person. And this is more of like a bean burger. Why is it so good? It's, it's so good. Like, the actual patty is flavored. I'm gonna try to show you a little. Can you see the patty? Eh. Oh, I'm trying so hard not to make a mess. It is not easy. Mmm. This is the most unique vegan patty I've ever had. It feels firmer than a regular veggie patty. It tastes mushroomy and so well seasoned. It is very messy. But not because the patty is soft. It's messy because the cheese sauce, while delicious, is very runny. If they can put the same flavor into a slice, maybe I'd prefer it. 
just for like, you know, ease of eating. This really surpassed my expectations. It really did. I don't know what to say. I've been eating vegan burgers for four years now, and this is the most unique patty I've come across. They did a very good job. Mm -mm. Nine and a half. I'll give it a nine and a half. I would eat it again happily. And it doesn't feel incredibly greasy. You know what I mean? All of a sudden, I'm very full. I ate that pretty fast. Wow. And let me show you the salad. It's small. So what I said earlier about it being like, if it's a side salad, it's kind of expensive. It's expensive. This is expensive. I see the justification for the price of the burger. Like it's a it's a handcrafted burger, done amazingly, beautifully, splendidly. The salad, this is not $7 worth of salad to me, although it looks delicious. I would say maybe, maybe $5, or you know what? Maybe if it was like served to me on a plate in like a fancy restaurant atmosphere, I'd pay $7.50 for it. You know what I mean? Things always look a little bit less splendid when they're served to you in a cardboard box. Um, unless it's like burgers, then you're just like, eh, burger. Okay, so we have like two different kinds of squashes, pumpkin seeds, pomegranate seeds and arugula and some spring onion a little bit of a mixy mix get a bite with a bunch of things in it it's probably gonna be delicious it looks so good bruh that is good squash is not too sweet i've realized if you're making a salad with roasted squash you have to do the arugula because the bitterness makes it delicious it's the bitterness plus the sweetness that is like the combination that works, you know? Salad, while slightly overpriced, maybe nine out of 10. I get it. I put my seal of approval on the hype. Ah, shit, I got a bunch of lettuce on my floor. But not on me, and that's the important part. Final thoughts. It's so poorly located. I mean, no, not like for the average person. Like, maybe a lot of people hang out there. I don't. It's so poorly located for my lifestyle, and that sucks, because I would love to eat there more often. I mean, I mean, I, this is my first time eating there, so I guess anything is more often. But you know what I mean? Like, I would love to eat there on occasion, because the burger is just so well done. Like, that's how you make a good vegan burger. If you're ever in that area, eat there, damn it. Glad you guys bugged me to go. I thoroughly enjoyed myself, thank you very much. Uh, this is why I love when y'all make suggestions, because I find a lot of yummy places. This makes me really want to go to Dirt Candy. So maybe uh, this year, maybe beginning of next year, we go to Dirt Candy, who knows? Uh, this is technically an is it hype, even though I got a lot less food than usual. It's a different format than usual. So I'll give it a hype seal of approval. And that is all I have for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, I put my Instagram right here. And that is all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! Shout out to all my patrons, but especially my bodega bosses and my OG bodega babes. Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Lucia, Alex Creates, Ellen, Michelle, Laura, Kaylin, Marielle, Alex of Planet Earth, Nicole, Jenny, Gemini, Janine, Curtis, Stacy, Michelle, Eduardo, Chloe, Erica, Dana, Vanessa, Nakia, and Angie. You guys are the absolute best, and these videos are made possible with your support. If you want to support me non-monetarily, then just subscribe and stick around to watch another video. It shows YouTube that you like my content.